This is a quick uh, overview of the TI-99-4 and TI-99-4A and how to use wired and wireless controllers, also known as joysticks, for the real iron, so the real uh, TI, and emulators. A little disclaimer, all uh, the references are of course uh, belong to the respective owners. Uh, this is just a quick guide how to get your uh, retro joystick or modern joysticks uh, connected. So the gaming season started in August 2015. Um, this month it is Munchman. Um, we also made a flyer for in relation to the Pixels movie, but we call it Tixels, related to the TI over here. So uh, this month is Munchman, similar as the Pac-Man movie. Uh, TI99 slash 4 a in consoles and expansions. Uh, you can find more details on this website um, to understand what the differences are between the different consoles or the expansions. Wide remote controllers or the joysticks, they look like this. So there is a PHP 1100 series from 1979, which was released together with the slash 4 series. And uh, they use the same PHP 1100 number for the slash 4A. Um, but note there are some different color buttons, but they are the same. Here's some packaging. Um, the manual is from 1979, was used for uh, all types of TI joysticks. Here is the pinout. Um, so the pinout is on the left side of the TI-99 console. Um, it is not a standardized interface, so it is TI uh, only. And we'll talk about it in a moment. So not a standardized uh, interface. Uh, also make sure that you connect the joystick to the left side of the TI and not on the back of the TI because there is also a D9 plug. Uh, but that one is uh, used for the cassette. So the alpha lock key need to be in the up position, not in the down position as in the picture. In the up position then your joystick movements will uh, go up uh, as well, otherwise it will lock it. There is a fix for that. If you go to this website, you can actually um, change um, your keyboard by soldering some components on it to make sure that um, your alpha lock can be either in up or down position without affecting your joystick movements. Third party wired remote controllers. So there are many, many uh, controllers available, but um, the most popular one is the Atari CX40. It's actually kind of a de facto standard for the industry that time. Uh, Atari Pointmaster was an uh, interesting joystick as well but my favorite is the arcade by suzo there are also different type of versions with a single button or dual buttons on on the knob and and they also exist in different colors so it fits nice with your badge ti 994a you can also build your own cable so here are uh, the pinouts or make a converter or you can buy one uh, so here is an adapter from vico Here are some other uh, examples of adapters. Um, unfortunately, I don't know the manufacturer. Uh, it's not indicated on the box, but they also work. Now moving to the uh, emulators. Um, you can also use your uh, existing um, joysticks, like your Atari joystick or Suzo joysticks, uh, in the emulators. But to do that, you need to have a converter. So option one is to make use of the um, USB joystick adapter from uh, Sinjai. So more details you can find it here on this website. Here is how it looks like. So it was actually in a review of the UK Times um, magazine. That's how I got to know about it. And apparently Michael Zappaf uh, demonstrated that at one of the uh, conferences in 2013. Recently I got one as well. Um, I was not so impressed with uh, how long it took to order this and the communication with the supplier, but uh, eventually I got it. Also good to know is that you need to um, assemble it yourself uh, together. So I, um, I don't have time to, until uh, October because it's not in the neighborhood currently. But it's an interesting adapter. Uh, another interface adapter here um, has not been tested yet, but it has been pre-assembled already, so you don't have to do it yourself. It's also from USB to uh, the D9 plug. Similar like here, this is uh, another kind of conversion. So you can find more details on eBay about this um, plug. Now moving to some modern controllers and how to connect to the emulator. 
For example, you can use uh, wired USB controllers like these one here, which have more buttons on it as well. And can connect them directly to the PC. Um, the PC should have drivers to control all those joysticks. And then in most cases, the, the emulators automatically will communicate to those USB drivers, which are installed on your uh, PC, like Windows drivers, for example. Interesting is to make use of wireless devices, so like a wireless uh, remote controller or a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse, because they also then can communicate via the wireless interface. So it's very similar, like drivers have been installed on the PC and the emulators will talk to those drivers. Now the benefit is you can sit from a distance now and um, play games on the couch, for example. Now why do you need a keyboard? Um, because still there are some functions or commands you need to enter in the emulator uh, to press any key or to press the redo or the back functions. Um, yeah, so you still need to switch between your remote controller and your keyboard. So that's sometimes inconvenient, but we have a solution for that. Using uh, Sony PS4 wireless or wired controllers uh, has not been tested yet. You can connect them via USB interface to the PC that is inconvenient, but uh, the wireless interface, I still need to test that. Now, I also noticed that some of the um, controllers suddenly start to vibrate because it has a dual shock function uh, built in. Um, maybe it is uh, useful for some future TI-99 games to make use of those uh, functions. A little bit more about the emulators. So let's start with Classic 99, it's the most popular one, I think, for, for gaming. Um, it automatically recognizes the joysticks, uh, otherwise check the joystick configurations using options, options, and then you see a screen like this. Um, and then you can um, change the joystick configurations for joystick 1 and for joystick 2, or you configure it back to your PC keyboard if you prefer that. Other emulators, the V99, GS99 net. GS99 net doesn't support joysticks, but uh, you can uh, use a trick using an application called Joy2Key to map actually a joystick to, uh, to the keyboard. Uh, Mass MAME supports um, the joysticks and the TI994 uh, W supports uh, joysticks. Mapping the keyboard keys to the controller buttons. So um, the inconvenience to switch between a wireless controller and a wireless keyboard is um, uh, can be solved uh, using a joy to key application in windows and what you do you start to configure the keyboard strokes like for example function 8 for redo or function 9 for back and map that to a button on those uh, modern remote controllers so the benefit is that you don't have to switch each time between the remote controller or the um, uh, keyboard so that you can uh, uh, keep the controller in your hands it's very convenient. And Joy2 key is for um, Apple uh, Macintosh systems. Other devices for the 994 4A. Um, the MBX system. Uh, I don't have experience with that, but you can go to the website or so see some videos from Vector Roly about this. And there is a Vico command control trackball. I also don't have uh, experience with those. And uh, if all those joystick solutions don't work for you, uh, you always can go back to the keyboard. Um, the arrows are indicated under the E, S, D, X, and then the Q is typically the fire uh, button. That's for joystick one. If you want to play with joystick two, then you make use of the Y button for fire and the I, J, K, M buttons.